Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine Designs. I have spent this afternoon playing with editing, trying to figure out what's going on with my phone. Ah, I'm, I wish I were super, super tech literate, but I am not, but I am thankful to have gotten done what I got done. So, um, sweetie, don't forget to switch that. Um, anyway, sorry, um, my youngest just brought me something to drink and it was so nice for some nice ice water. So today I'm going to use this gorgeous kit. It is called English Cottage and it is by DEK and I absolutely adore it. I also have some fun little bunny, uh, just, you know, really for school type stickers, but you know, I call my granddaughter bunny, so I love that. And then I have some holiday stickers and though I don't think we have anything here, I'm going to look, um, I wondered if we had Happy St. Patrick. So I'm going to put that on somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. But anyways, well, we, I might get to it, I might not. All right. I absolutely adore this kit. If there could be a bazillion kits with this theme, this color, this everything, this style, this has been my all-time favorite. So I also have some of the spring to-do type stickers that are fun. And then all the functionals that match. And I mean, there are just tons of them. Whoops, they're upside down. Uh, aren't these just gorgeous? And they were made to go with this kit. And actually, they match so many kits. So it's very diverse. All right. I'm in my Ara Estelle, which is my business planner. And today is Tuesday. So you know I'm behind. I didn't write anything in last week, but I've got to go back in and write it in. Um, I was working off of a list last week, and I've got it. Um, I had a new, um, have you ever heard of Rocket Book? Anyways, um, I was really working from a rocket book to see how they work last week. So, yes, and I've got to tell you, they work beautifully. <laughs> so rocket book is an electronic like notepad and it helps you keep um, track. Whoops. Uh oh. Helps you keep track of things that um, like a to do list of some sort. And then you upload it. So you can upload it into your email or into your Evernote or any of those types of things. Um, I think even your uh, one box, all of that. So um, I'm just loading mine into my email. I think that's the easiest thing. And I just have to say it is fun. And I gave my husband, son and son-in-law, I think one that I found on clearance a few years back. I know clearance. And I paid for mine real price, but I only, I didn't get a big one. I got a smaller one. So I'm, I really am enjoying it and I'm really thankful for it. So anyways, if any of you have ever used that, please let me know, leave a comment because it is fun. So I think I'm going to put my pretty girl right here up at the top. Um, and you'll have to excuse me. I'm sitting back. I'm still in the parlor. Matter of fact, my daughter and I were talking about, I've got to get some things done for, um, Oh, for DEK tomorrow. And I'm thinking about how, what we're going to do and all. And she was just talking to me like, well, you know, you have this, you know, have that. And I was like, yes, let's get that and bring it here and I'll work in here. So, um, the cottage is getting worked on. I had to take a bit of a break. I wasn't feeling super fantastic. So, and that's okay. That's okay. Two steps forward, one step back. <laughs> only as long as it's only one step back. So we're, um, we're getting some things done and, um, I may have overdone it, but yeah, again, you just get so excited with these things and you love it and you want to do it. And yeah, that's what it's been. And for me, I have genuinely, genuinely, um, waited a long time to be able to get out into the cottage and, um, yeah, so I'm really excited. As a matter of fact, my husband, whoops, I took out too many pages, but that's okay. Let's just put this back over here. Um, my husband and I have been talking about, we ordered my storehouse, my, my warehouse, so to speak. And he was saying yesterday, I think it's time for me to order mine. I said, that's totally fine. Do it. And then we can get the, um, the driveway paved and then he's going to put in a car lift so he can work on cars. So, um, and I'm glad he is really talented at those things. He really likes using his hands. He always has. And, you know, seriously, in the end, you know, it's what people enjoy. And as we get ready to go into retirement, that is something he can do in retirement. So, or we think about retirement, you know. Anyways, so, all right. So, I've got my bottom beautiful washi in. And now I'm going to put my days of the week. 
And I know a lot of people will put the date on here and then put it on. And I did not pull out my dates, but I have my box right here. So at the end, if I have time, I'll grab that. I know he's coming in soon, so I'm trying to, you know, kind of hurry. And I can't decide whether I'm going to cover this up. It looks like it matches on the camera. It doesn't quite match in real life. So, <laughs> yes, can I handle it? Can I not? I know. And I have some thin washi coming soon. So I'm excited to play with that and, um, yeah, cover these up. So, and also, if you guys didn't hear in my other video, um, I was super excited. I got a picture, and DEK is coming out with more washi, and it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. So, yes, I am super, super excited. And um, on today, which is Tuesday, I uploaded my Happy Planner, um, my garden journal, getting my garden journal you know, set up for the month of March. And yeah, I'm really enjoying the thought of getting all that planned out and what I'm doing. So you know how it goes. We just have a good time with it all. Okay. So I am just going to get into the nitty gritty. I hate to break this apart. It's so pretty. I don't know what to do yet. So I'm going to have to think on that. I usually put one of those over here on the side and that's the short side. Hmm. Well, maybe what I'll do is I'll do one whole side. Wouldn't that be pretty? I think it would be. Okay. Maybe. Let me think. <laughs> Let me think. <laughs> so, but, um, but I'm super, super excited. Um, I, I can't wait for DEK's washi to come out. And I was using some of the DEK washi today in my garden video setup, but it doesn't really show because I ran it through an editing program and it kind of took it off, but that's okay. It's all good. But um, I'm excited to see how it's going to play out, you know, um, in the future. And I love how it looks and I love using it and all of that and more. So, you know what? It doesn't bother me if I split these up now. Once I see them apart, I'm okay. Um, I think when I see the whole wall of it, it's like, oh, I don't want to break it up. <laughs> so, it's all good. It's all good. I know. I know. So, all right. Now, I'm going to just come back with that one. I might just do that. Oh, let's do the roses. <gasps> what am I thinking? That would be perfect for there. And then I've got a little spot there. So let's see if one of these will fit in there. Wouldn't that be pretty? Okay, I'm going to turn it this way because I cannot see the other way. Now, here we go. All right. And my girl is a little bit ever so slightly off, but I'm totally fine with it. I don't want to pull her up and put her back down. Or if I'm going to do it, I'll do it off camera. So um, one of the things that happened today was my, my phone kept shutting off. So that's why everything kind of got put through um, an editing software. I was amazed at how much <laughs> it was driving me crazy. So, and I'm going to put this goose on here. I don't know if you could hear, hear the goose. Oh, they are really wanting me. I gave them some bread scraps and my guineas, I was going to give it to my guineas, but they kind of got a little skittish and um, the geese came and they took it. And so they've been outside this door honking and honking and honking like, give me more, give me more. So we call bread bird crack. If you don't know that with, um, it's sad to say, but true. <laughs> Poultry love bread. They love bread. I don't even know how. It's possible, but boy, they do. They love, whoops, hello, sorry. I didn't get that bell turned off. My apologies. Um, they literally are addicted to it. That and cracked corn, <laughs> literally. <laughs> the corn you buy that's been cracked, not completely broken down, but just cracked. Uh, they will come running for miles and miles just to get that. So it is hilarious, but... When I gave them, or I put the bread out, um, boy, they were just all a fluster over, <laughs> over that bread. <laughs> so, but they, we used to go get all of our chickens um, from the Dale Bakery or the bread store um, bread. And now they don't 
Okay, it's not open anymore. So our poor little birdies, they don't have it. It's not good. I am going to scoot that over because I got that out of whack, but I will do that off camera just so you know. That's what I'm thinking. All right, I am going to actually, I'm going to put this here and I'm going to put this one on and then I'm going to come back and I am going to cover those with um, headers from the kit. That's what I'm going to do. And since this one is at the top, I'm going to bring this one to the bottom. And there is that. So, I really like that. I think that's pretty. Now, I do have these headers, but I don't have enough to go away, all the way across. And though I do have these, I would need seven. And they are not exactly what I need. So, I am going to use my glitter headers. And these are so pretty. So, I think I'm just going to alternate like I always do. I know. It's always that way. I cannot just not do it, right? I'm going to start with the blue because we have all that pink from the girl's dress. And then I'm just going to come across and hope that I am straight. And I'm not because I'm sitting back. So hold on, guys. Just let me straighten it for one second. So, um, but I hope you guys are having a good day. I got to Walmart. I got my order picked up. Yay. Oh, goodness. I... I think it's so hard. I'm so glad I started so early trying to get things for Passover Easter for our kiddos. Um, every time I make an order, it's like they change three or four things. And so I am purposefully almost over ordering in a sense so that I can meet everyone's needs. And um, because I, I mean, literally a third of the order was not available today. I think Texas just has not recovered well. Um, you know, it, it's, it's been a slow rebuild. I mean, when your store, ha you know, all your frozen section and all your cold section is gone, you know, you, you put your focus where you need it to be. So, um, but when I went over today, of course I do the drive pickup, you know, the, the curbside, but there were a lot of people out and I even saw a young girl out with a mask and gloves and, um, yeah, so even though Texas is dropping the mask issue, there are those that are very careful here. So whether you agree with it or disagree with it, that's okay. We don't need to discuss it. But, <laughs> but I will just tell you, it was good to see people being thoughtful of others. And I do appreciate that. Um, especially young people, um, you know, because my mask basically says, I care about you. Yes, I'm taking care of myself, but I'm also trying to be considerate of you as well. And, um, yeah, so it was really nice to see so many young people out today. Um, interestingly enough, here in Texas, it's the older people who tend to not going to wear their mask. So it's always funny. Oh, goodness. My sister and I were talking about that here recently. And I said, you know, I hate to say it. She goes, I know it's the older people. I said, yes. And, of course, she's medical. She's very opinionated. You know, she's been in there. I totally get it. You know, I totally get it. But um, but she was just like, they, if they saw what I saw, they would always wear that mask. And I was like, I know, I know, it's okay. <laughs> Don't want to put that there. I think I'm going to get this one and put it here. And actually, what I really need to do is I need to start utilizing these little babies. So, the headers. Um, but, so it was good to see. It's good to see people being careful and responsible and all of that. And it's hard, you know. We get conflicting messages. We get extremes, all that good stuff. But you got to do what works for you. And if that's what works for you, then go for it. You know, seriously. Do what is best for you and your family. And, yeah. And that is, you know, the best thing anybody can say right now. There are no um, point blank right and wrongs at this point as they open things back up. You know, I don't, I don't, you know, yesterday we went to get feed and none of the people had masks on. And my husband argued because they're outside. Well, they're not. They're in a drive through barn. They're inside. And they were within six feet of my husband. And I just said, you know. I know you don't understand this, but in reality, you do have to be really careful. 
um, you know, we don't have the vaccination. And so, you know, well, we're, you know, we're outside. It's no, we're really not. <laughs> no, 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 we're not. So, you know, but, um, and because I know I was talking to my son today too, that there's just so much going on with, you know, classrooms and, you know, education, all of that. So at least here in Texas. So, you know, you just try to be respectful. You try to be kind. You try to be understanding. You try, you know, all of that. But, but again, you do what you need to do. You don't do what I do. Do what you need to do. <laughs> so, um, you know, I think it's an individual thing. And of course you have to buy by your town, your government, you know, your state, et cetera. Our town is pretty much no mask. Um, there are places within our town that are pro mask, but, um, not all of them. And so that has, of course, you know, caused some strain for some people, but I just think we all need to just be thinking of each other and be kind to each other <laughs> all those things and more so and that's that's just my two cents whether whatever it's worth that's how I think but um so okay we're getting towards the weekend and Friday I do want to put hmm, nope go right down here so oh goodness um even feeling kind of sluggish and slow right now, I am surprised at what's getting accomplished. And I think mainly because if I can't get up and move around, um, you know, I just need to rest right now, then I'm working on other things. So it's been kind of, it's been fun. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make it sound like it's just been horrible because I'm learning a lot. I'm, I'm learning how to use a little bit of a basic editing software that it's really, um, you know, it's kind of sue proof, you know, or stew proof. <laughs> when our kids grew up, we didn't use the word stupid. It was the stew word. So <laughs> it's stew proof, but, um, yeah, so we are definitely, I am definitely learning lots of good things and I'm always thankful for that because, you know, I think we can need to always be in that learning mode. I think there's nothing wrong with that. It helps keep our mind um, active and engaged. And it's just really good to be outside of your comfort zone. I say that very carefully now because I don't want to be too outside of my comfort zone. But I do want to be honest that I do need to grow. And that's how you grow sometimes. You just have to do it. And um, for me... I am thankful for that and I am super thankful for the opportunity to learn new things, try new things. I'm not great at it, but I'm trying. That's all that matters. So, but, um, yeah, and I have a long way to go. So if anybody has any suggestions of online classes for editing software, please, please, please send them to me. Okay. Leave them in the comments. Um, you guys clearly know I need to learn. <laughs> So, I know, it is it is what it is, but anyways, oh goodness, I do not want blue on blue, I think I'll go here, but I am, I am enjoying the journey, and I am enjoying trying to learn, if that makes any sense, so I'm not an expert by any stretch of the imagination at all, period, um, I wish I could say a word, but I'm not, so I am learning, but I'm trying to see, do I, how skinny is that skinny? I think it's pretty skinny. It's pretty skinny. I think I'm going to put him right in there in between the two, kind of overlap a little. That is cute. Okay. Now let me see. So I do need to get my, let me set these up here for right now. I do need to get my habit trackers in and I do need to get so I'm thinking, I'll come up here and I'm putting habit trackers in places where you normally wouldn't put them just because I think sometimes it is just really good to throw them at almost in every planner. So it just reminds you, I need to drink water. I need to do this. I need to, you know, I just need to get these things done. And, um, 
And that's one of the things in dealing with health issues that I've recognized I need to focus on some of those things, you know, and it's hard. It's hard to get busy. We just get busy. So, okay, I am going to come up here with this, I think. Hold on. And I think I'm going to come with this one down here. So let's start with that. Get that one done now. And I will get this one done here. All right. And then I'll put something across there. Let me see. So how is everything going for you today? Are you having a good day? And if so... Um, what was the best thing about your day today? Leave a comment below. I would love to know. Feels like I'm missing a page. Hmm. Feel like I'm missing a page. I am. Here it is. Silly me. <laughs> okay. And whatever I don't use here, I will use in my journal. So I'm not worried about this. And my journals were, you know, it's my private journal. You guys would be totally bored with it. So. <laughs> Yep. Okay. I think I'm going to go blue here. And I love the colors of this, the pink and the blue, and then that neutral beige. How nice is that? And as soon as I finish with you guys, I'm running in the kitchen. I'm getting ready to start our, um, our dinner. So I'm going to put that there. Usually I use that for menu planning. But I think I'm going to be working on schedule. So I'm going to put that there for schedule because this is my work planner. Now, I want my weekend sticker and I did not get it on here. So let me see here. I think I could just come across here. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. I may have to lift it up to put something in there, but we will get there when we get. Ooh, I think I'll just put this one here. So and I could just lift that up carefully because I purposely left it a little bit. Lucy goosey okay oh that is so stinking cute all right okay that page is done Ooh. now I just have a little bit left on this one okay I think I'm going to put this oh, I got pink pink everywhere hmm okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift this one up just ever so slightly and then I will put this one up here and then it will overlap ever so slightly. Isn't that cute? Okay, and now, let me see. I'm watching the time because my phone has been acting so weird and shutting off all day. So, ha uh -huh, it's been a pain. Okay, I'm going to put that scallop there. And I'm kind of tempted, but I think I won't. I think I won't. Okay, never mind. Never mind. And I really want to put something there. So I may move something over. Because, because. Okay. Let me see. Maybe I'll move this down. That's what I'll do. Hi, boo boo. It happens. What can I say? And it's all good. It's all good. Okay. And I'm going to leave that up just in case. And in the meantime... I'm going to put this here. Oh, actually, I'm going to put it here against that green. And then there, I am going to put some of this gorgeousness right here. I love the eyelet washi. I mean, eyelet, um, scalloped eyelet. Oh, I love it. I think it's so pretty. I'm going to go with another one across there. Yes, those are so pretty. They are one of my favorite parts of DK design that and I love the scallops they are just so beautiful seriously Ooh. so right now I'm trying to focus Tuesday Wednesday Thursday on DEK I did not get this one over here so but that's okay I'm totally fine with that but I will put something there and yes because I have that list I'm still okay I will get that little washi in there. That little washi, that little piece of sticker. <laughs> All right, so let me take a step back and take a look. And, hmm, I think I'm going to put 
this over here as we have a gap right there and I'm going to turn it upside down now it'll be bookend kind of of what's on the bottom all right you see there yep I got that and whoo I think we're done how is that I'm going to put let me see if there are any functionals oh the decoratives I'm going to save for my um for my journal I was going to put live in full bloom but I think we're good I really do I think this is really pretty and I really like it now I could come back and overlay some of these work stickers but I don't think so this week I kind of like it the way it is I think I'm good okay guys Tell me what you think. Uh, let me show you what I have left out of that kit. This kit just was the Ever Energizer Bunny. So we have that left. And part of this down here, this on the bottom, almost all of that is left. And I will put the dates up there and this and that. So pretty amazing. Okay, so let's see here. We started with Oops, oops, oops. Where are my tweezers? Huh. Oh, good. Oh, there they are. I was getting ready to say, oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> but I found them. It's okay. Ah, oh, I've done a lot of videos in here today. And then a lot of editing. So I think I'm going to go on top today. I know I do it different every week. It's never the same. It's always different. But that's what makes it fun, right? <laughs> There we go. Okay. I've been using my other tweezers by from DEK, and those are like typical tweezers you have to push down. And so every now and then my brain goes, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. which way are we going? <laughs> so here we go. Plus trying to get my hands to do what they need to do. Silly things. Oh, can you hear my guineas? Oh, that's actual birds though. I can hear my guineas way in the back pasture. Oh, my poor guineas. Some of them got out front, the outside the gate. And bless their hearts, they get very easily confused when they're nervous. And so they were just going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Like, I can't find the gate. I can't find the gate. I can't, where are you? And then the male, the male guinea was calling and calling them. And I went out to try to get them. And, you know, I had some bread for them. And they were just like, I'm, I'm, I can't eat. I'm too nervous. I, I can't even hear you. Um, so I came inside to let, to let the male get them back in and sure enough, they did, but bless their hearts. There were two of them and I watch them sometimes and they just really get rattled, but the geese do the same thing. The chickens do the same thing. Um, you know, if they get outside their comfort zone, you know, let's be honest, poultry chickens aren't portrayed as like the pro professorial type, you know, poultry or the you know animals so anyways but no they're they're very simple so that's okay because I love them and that's all that matters now I do think I've got a little bit more time so I am going to add in a couple of these I'm going to use these oh I'm going to use that next time and I love these too but I know that I want to I think I'm going to put maybe some of this down here and I think I'm going to put her. So let's do that. Okay. And of course, these cross over to many kits. You don't have to have it just with one kit. Oh, I see a place where I can use one of these. And I'm super excited. So I'm going to put this right here. Yes, I am. How cute is that? That gone. That is cute. Okay. So I think I'm going to put this right here. And I'm going to put one on the other side to kind of book in them. And that kind of ties that beige in there. And I've used this. I think that's it. I'm going to keep this out just in case I see one more. It's amazing how you look and look and look and then you, what happened? So I've done computer work today. So I'm going to put her here. And I'm going to do computer work here on the weekend and here on Sunday. So I'm trying to get where I do computer work on these days. So, okay, I think, I think, I think, I think that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I am super loving this Aura Estelle. 
Um, I've had a couple of people message me and say, what do you think? Do you think it's worth doing? Da, 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 da. Of course, you know me, I had to buy it on the you know sale version of it. And I do use it to keep records of time, which I wish I would have done after my parents passed away. Uh, my husband had suggested it, but it was too far in. And I just felt like, ugh, I didn't do it already. So I'm not going to do it now. And I wish I would have. So, which I'm doing the same thing with my gardening. If you watch my gardening video um, today, I am literally going backwards and putting on the um, the previous rest of the month. So I can still record all of, sorry guys, I mean to bump y'all, record what I've been planting and my husband's been planting and what worked and what didn't work and things like that. So um, I think even if you don't get something filled out, like I did not fill out anything here. I filled out my other planners and like I said, my rocket book. Um, this is a great opportunity to pull up that rocket book and write down in here because I need to keep my times on how I'm spending my time right now. And I'm getting ready to go through a goal um, vision class. And just because I'm two steps forward, three steps back some days. And I feel like I'm not making my way down the field in light of what's going on here with us. It's totally understandable. I'm learning to give myself grace. It's really hard for me. Um, it has been a tumultuous start of the new year, no doubt, but it is getting better. Praise God. Um, but now my health is kind of kicking in and I think it's that, you know, the heightened anxiety of getting all these things done is past. And then my body is relaxing and going, Hey, wait a minute, you overstressed me. So <laughs> you need to stop it. But I think things like this help me so much to get things recorded and to keep them. And I love looking back at old planners. I love it. I just, I really do. It motivates me. It encourages me. It lets me see, Oh, we did finish that project. And Oh, I did learn this in that project, you know, that kind of a thing. So anyways, isn't this gorgeous? I love this English cottage kit. Ah. I may have to get another one, but okay, friends, I pray your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. Like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Um, tell me, what do you think? Do you love these colors? Do you love this kit? I do. And the more we leave comments, the more that Dawn will see it. Maybe she'll make more like them. So hint, hint, hint. All right. Okay, guys, um, have a great day and I will be talking to y'all soon. Y'all take care. Bye-bye. Love you.